All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the virtual college exploration for all Illinois students sponsored by the Illinois Association for College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us this evening to learn a little bit more about Warburg College. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button at the bottom or top of your screen to ask any questions to our presenter throughout this evening. Your camera and microphone are off. We are in webinar mode so the presenters cannot see or hear you. So again, please use that Q&A. And then this is just one of many sessions happening over the next few weeks. So please feel free to visit IACAC.org for a full list of additional sessions. And if you would like to share this recording or watch it again, um, it is being recorded. So you can access this presentation within about a week on that same website, IACAC.org. So without further ado, I will now turn it over to Kristen from Wartburg College. All right, thank you, Sylvia. I am gonna pull up my screen to share. All right, um, so like Sylvia said, my name is Kristen Taphorn and I am the Regional Assistant Director of Admissions at Wartburg College. I live and work with all students in the state of Illinois. Um, so thank you for attending this evening, and I am going to give you a brief overview of Warburg College and what we have to offer. I don't want to keep you here long today, so after this presentation, I hope you'll know a little bit more about Warburg and consider a more personalized visit um, with us on campus or uh, virtually. Um, another quick reminder, like Sylvia said, um, leave any questions in the Q&A and I can answer those at the end. All right, I am going to play a quick 30 second video for you. Your college experience should be more than textbooks and classrooms. You want professors who get to know you, inspire you, and guide you long after your four years on campus. Experiences that take you into the community and around the world. At Warburg College, our culture of excellence in academics sets the tone for the whole campus. You deserve a college experience that will lay the foundation for the rest of your life because you are worth it. All right, I'm going to go back to our first slide. So this is, um, I just wanted to show you, this is our full campus. Um, some things that I just wanted to point out is we don't have any roads or streets crossing through our campus. So you can get to the whole campus by sidewalks. Um, if you look in the center of the uh, screen slightly to the left, um, we've got the steeple on our chapel there. And then you can see the skywalk that connects all of the academic buildings, um, which is really handy in the Midwest, especially in the winter months when it's snowing um, or when it's raining. All of our academic buildings are connected by the skywalk. Um, we are a residential campus, so almost all of our students live on campus all four years. Upperclassmen have the opportunity to live in um, townhome style apartments. Um, I'm an alum and I lived on campus all four years, so um, definitely a really nice aspect of our campus so that we have housing for everybody. All right. So now I'm going to highlight a few of our statistics. Um, Warburg is a private, small liberal arts school. We're located in Waverly, Iowa, so right next door to Illinois. Um, if you live in the Chicagoland area like me, you're approximately four and a half hours away from campus, so you get the going away um, to college experience, but still uh, not far enough that you can drive home for um, a long weekend or you can come home for the holidays. Um, we have about 1,500 students in our student body. Our incoming freshman class this year was a little over 500 students. Um, our average class size is 19 and our student to faculty ratio is 11 to 1. So what this means is that you'll get to know your professors really well. Um, one of your professors in your major will be your academic advisor. Um, Another important thing that I wanted to point out is our faculty teach all of our courses, meaning we have the experts within their field as professors and they will teach and advise all of our students. So you won't have a TA or a grad in student or a grad assistant as um, one of your instructors. Warburg has over 50 majors. The most popular majors are business, biology, all of our pre-professional health science programs, pre-med, um, 
education, psychology, and music therapy. Uh, we have a few accelerated collaboration programs that I wanted to point out. We have a four plus one engineering program, which includes a BA in engineering from Warburg College, not free engineering like most undergrad programs. We have a um, with includes a plus one at Iowa State University, which will earn you a Master of Science in Engineering. We also have a three plus one nursing program with Allen College of Nursing, where you're, you will graduate with two bachelor's degrees, a BA from Warburg and a BSN from Allen. We have a three plus three Juris Doctorate Law program with the University of Iowa, a three plus three Master of Divinity uh, Ordained Ministry with Warburg Seminary, and then we have a four plus one master's in museum science with uh, Western Illinois. Um, now I just want to talk a little bit. Um, let's say you don't know what you want to major in um, and that's okay too. We call this exploring um, and many 17 and 18 year olds just don't know what they want to do for the rest of their life and that's okay. We are here to help you. So you will meet with your faculty advisor several times to work on your schedule. Um, you'll also have the opportunity to meet with advisors in our Pathways Center. There you can take an aptitude test and design what you want your schedule to look like um, and get a feel for different areas of academic interest. Um, since we are a liberal arts institution, you'll take classes that fulfill essential education requirements. You can take a variety of different classes plus different electives, which can help you narrow down your interests and then determine your major. So you'll see we have a 441 academic calendar, um, which is similar uh, to block scheduling. So if your high school uh, is, does that, you'd be familiar with our schedule system. So you'll take four classes in the fall. You'll take four different classes in the winter term. And then we have um, what we call May term. So you'll take one class exclusively for the month of May. You'll have 18 class days. So during May term, half of our students decide to stay on campus and take an on-campus course. And the other half of our students um, will decide to travel with their class and their professor. So we may, we have um, different opportunities to travel domestically or abroad. Um, there are classes that go to New York City, um, or if you go to abroad, you can take, um, you can travel to Europe and take a castles and cathedrals course, or we have drawing and painting in Italy. There are opportunities to go to Costa Rica or Guyana. Um, many of these opportunities aren't specific to your major requirements, but they would just fulfill an essential education requirement. Um, but if uh, you decide to stay on campus because of athletics or you don't want to travel, it's really fun to be on campus as well because the weather starts to get really nice. You'll see students on the campus mall playing bocce ball. They'll bring their hammocks out. Um, sand volleyball games happen. So there's um, lots of opportunities to do fun things um, during May term, whether you stay on campus or travel. The other thing I wanted to um, talk about is just as far as the academic schedule is um, our classes at Warburg are all are one credit. So if you're transferring in courses and you're used to like a standard credit hour system, three credit hours would be one of our course credits. <clears throat> so next you'll see the urban studies program. So we offer uh, urban studies programs in Des Moines, Iowa and Denver, Colorado. The Denver, Colorado program we call Warburg West, which is really popular. Um, our students can go there for a semester or for the summer. They will live on in apartments that are on the Johnson and Wales campus while they're in Denver and they can use all the amenities on the campus like the library and the fitness center. Um, you'll take an urban studies class that our Warburg faculty um, teach and there are over 100 different internship opportunities in Denver, Colorado. For example, you could work in a hospital, um, you could do marketing for the football team or the baseball team. You can do student teaching out there or get field experience hours. Um, so it's a, a really fun experience. All right, so the admission process. Our application is super easy. Um, you could just go to our website and apply, workbook.edu backslash apply. Uh, we are also test optional. So um, you do not have to submit a test score for your admission decision. Uh, there's no deadline, non-binding agreement, and then we um, are rolling admission. So typically, if you meet our acceptance criteria, you'll get your decision within two weeks of submitting your application. It'll take you about 10 minutes to submit your application and we're mobile friendly. 
Um, with your acceptance letter, you'll receive your merit-based scholarship amount, which ranges from $26,000 to $30,000 a year. So you would get that every year for four years. Um, if there are any juniors, on the presentation tonight, we have a Worth It Week, which is a scholarship you attend. It's um, in this the last week of the summer. Um, you attend a visit day. This year it was virtual, uh, but you get $500 a year that can be stacked on top of your merit-based scholarship. So $2,000 over four years. We're offering academic visit days. So each department runs their visit day. This year they're virtual uh, for up to $1,500 a year. Um, we have a legacy grant and uh, we have scholarship days if you meet certain academic requirements, um, if you qualify, and um, that is $1,000. We also offer audition-based music scholarships, which are up to $5,000, and you can submit um, and participate in all of these virtually. Um, it's uh, the FAFSA is now open since we're a few days past October 1st. So if you are filing a FAFSA, please make sure to add Wartburg College and then it'll get sent to us and we will build a financial aid package that'll include your scholarships. <clears throat> All right, a few additional things that I wanna highlight. Um, we have a 97% success rate among graduates. So we survey all of our graduates um, within that first year and if they, um, 97% of our students are either in a grad program or um, have a job. We have an 87% overall retention rate. And if those students stay, 92% um, of those students that we retain graduate in four years or less. We have an 82% acceptance rate to medical school, which is twice the national average. So that's why um, biology and those pre-med, um, that's why that is such a popular major at Warburg. We get a lot of students because of our high medical school acceptance rate. Um, although we are located in the Midwest in a small town in Iowa, Warburg has students from 38 different states and 59 different countries. So geographical, cultural, and ethnic diversity is important to us. All right. <clears throat> Um, oh, I'm sorry. A few things I just also wanted to point out with athletics, the top picture, um, a large part of our campus culture is uh, athletics. You can see this is pre-COVID, so you can see the community supporting and all the students supporting our student athletes in the crowd. Uh, Warburg has a tradition of academic and athletic excellence. We have uh, 650 student athletes, so a huge portion of our 1,500 students participate in athletics. Um, and our athletes are, we have uh, nationally recognized coaches in more than 25 NCAA Division III national championship titles in our athletics program. The bottom picture um, showcases our music ensembles. So you don't have to be a music major to participate. We have 18 different music ensembles that tour the US and abroad. Um, they performed in famous castles and cathedrals around the world and in famous concert halls in the United States, like Carnegie Hall. Um, and if music or athletics aren't your thing, there are still other ways to get involved on campus. We have 100 different clubs and organizations to get involved in. As a freshman, you would attend an involvement fair with one of your freshman classes. Um, you will go and sign up and learn more about the organizations. We have everything from academic organizations, honor societies, service groups, performance, um, intramurals, pretty much anything. Um, but if you don't find something that you want to be in, you can just start your own. All right. Um, I know this is a lot of information, so I just wanted to remind you that we are doing on-campus visits. You can come um, sign up for a private visit with your guests. We have five time slots, Monday through Friday and Saturday mornings. Um, you can meet with admissions, you can meet with a professor, a coach, music director, eat on campus, take a tour. Um, we come and meet you, everybody wears a mask. Uh, if that's not your thing, we are also offering virtual visits. Uh, we have a virtual webinar series and all of this information can be found on our website, which is listed below. Um, my contact information is also on the screen. Uh, as I mentioned before, I work with all of the students in the state of Illinois, so I would be your counselor. So feel free to take a picture of the screen um, or shoot me an email and I look forward to connecting with you or um, you can scan the QR code to learn more. Um, it does 
doesn't look like I have any questions in the Q&A. So um, I just want to thank you for joining tonight. Uh, thank you to StriveScan and IACAC for putting the series together. Um, I look forward to connecting with you. Uh, another reminder, just go ahead and apply. And hopefully as your application comes in, I look forward to connecting with you. Best wishes on your college search. Um, and hold on for just a minute. StriveScan has another closing announcement. Awesome. Thanks, Kristen. Um, to everyone, thank you so much for joining us this evening to learn a little bit more about Wartburg College. Uh, just to let you know, when you do close this link, there will be a quick four question survey. So we please ask that you fill that out for us if possible. And then as a reminder, you can sign up for additional sessions that are happening over the next few weeks or access this recording at IACAC.org. Thank you so much and everybody have a wonderful evening. Bye.